Every September you have Drivers Day on 17th. What we do, we celebrate a one week activity where uh, some of our OEMs will come, some of our vendors will come, they'll facilitate them, we'll facilitate them, we'll talk to them, we'll ask them. I'm going to hope for a better second half of this year. So let's let's hope for you know something good, some good happening by the end of this year. Or they be Mardoke Sat. Kanda se kanda milakar transport industry mein kaam kar rahi hai. We are indeed proud of the women achievers of this road transport industry. Good morning friends and welcome back once again. Aishar, Naya Samay, Nai Soch presents Trans India, Real People, real emotions. In today's episode, we will be talking about challenging times, changing times and new ideas to counter these changes and challenges, which is also the theme of Aishar's Naya Samay, Nai Soch. Kai saalo se dekha gaya hai ki road transport industry ek male dominated industry rahi hai. Chai wo back end ho ya front end ho. Bohut kam Ladies, you will see the road transport industry in the road transport industry. But this was a few years ago. Now, the time is changing. And the women also work on the road transport industry in the road transport industry. We are indeed proud of the women achievers of this road transport industry. We had said in some episodes that the road transport industry is one of the problems. Apart from operational hassles, it is this कि यंगस्टर्स इस इंडस्ट्री में आना नहीं चाहते हैं कई कारण हैं इसके लैक ऑफ रिस्पेक्ट लैक ऑफ डिग्निटी एंड ऑफ कोर्स टू मच प्रेशर हाउ वुड इट बी इफ अ यंग गाय इज हॉलीडेइंग समवेयर एंड इन द मिडल ऑफ द नाइट ही गेट्स अ कॉल फ्रॉम द ड्राइवर सब ट्रक खराब हो गया है या आरटीओ ने पकड़ लिया है या एक्सीडेंट हो गया है दिस इज नॉट द काइंड ऑफ प्रेशर एवरीबॉडी इज कंफर्टेबल डीलिंग विद लेकिन ये रोड ट्रांसपोर्ट इंडस्ट्री का वो साइड है जिसे हमें साथ में लेकर चलना ही होगा। We cannot avoid this. Accidents will happen. Issues will arise on the highways. Transporters have to be ready to deal with them. This may also be one of the reasons why women are not part of this transport industry, or rather, were not part of this transport industry. But in the last few years, we have seen changes. A lot of changes, in fact, pleasant changes. We are so happy when we go for meetings, when we go for awards. We see women transporters right up there with the men folk. It is really commendable that women are now in the forefront in their transport companies. We know of many companies now where women are not just doing back end work, but they are taking part in the day to day operations right from placement of vehicles to marketing to talking to drivers talking to departments officials they are doing everything aishar naya samay nayi soch highlights the journey and achievements of these women transporters who have broken all barriers have shattered all barriers and have surged ahead in the road transport industry here's a message from aishar's naya samay nayi soch Take a look. Asi Satguru Singh Road Base Sadi Company hai. Asi Chalik Sal to Creep Transport the Kam Kardin Menu Hogya. Sadagu Sok the Creep Tracker. Prabhu the Kripa the Nalu Kama Bhot Badia Chalda. Agabi Prabhu the Kripa Nal Kam Badia Chaluga. पापा कहते हैं कि हमें ये खुशहाली और तरक्की अपने ड्राइवरों के साथ भी शेयर करनी चाहिए क्योंकि वो भी हमारी फैमिली के जैसे ही हैं। आ गया बेटा? हाँ जी पापा जी। मेरे चार बेटियां हैं जी। सबसे बड़ी है ये सनप्रीत। 16 साल की है। 11वीं में नॉन मेडिकल कर रही है। वो भी इंग्लिश मीडियम में। मेरा स England or Canada and complete their studies in the future. I am preparing for IELTS English exam. I am working hard to make my father's dream come true. Oh wow! Look, 
ड्राइवर की बेटी अंग्रेजी बोल रही है मैं जसपाल पाजी की कंपनी में कई साल से ड्राइवरी का काम कर रहा हूं हमारे दोनों बच्चों की फीस जसपाल पाजी देते हैं हम उन्हें अंग्रेजी स्कूल में पढ़ा रहे हैं हम चाहते हैं कि हमारी बेटी बड़ी होकर इंजीनियर बने हमारे दोनों की फैमिली में लड़की तो क्या लड़का भी इंजीनियर नहीं है हम चाहते हैं हमारी बेटी बड़ी होकर इंजीनियर बने इसी में हमारी खुशी है ड्राइवरों के बच्चों की स्कूल फीस देना यही मेरी नई सोच है बच्चे कुछ पढ़ लिख जाएंगे तो कल कुछ बनेंगे और उनके परिवारों की तरक्की होगी और इसी में हमारी खुशी है बिजनेस तभी बढ़ेगा जब सोच बदलेगी क्या आपने भी कोई नई सोच अपनाई है आयशर नई सोच डॉट कॉम पे हमें बताइए आयशर एच डी प्रो सीरीज नया समय नई सोच वेलकम बैक फ्रेंड्स नया समय नई सोच इज नॉट जस्ट अ स्लोगन इट इज अबाउट वुमेन एम्पावरमेंट इन टूडेज एपिसोड वी विल बी टॉकिंग टू टू सच यंग वुमेन हु हैव मेड अ मार्क फॉर देमसेल्व्स दीज टू वंडरफुल चार्मिंग एंड लवली वुमेन हैव फोर्स द वे इन टू द रोड ट्रांसपोर्ट इंडस्ट्री एंड हैव स्टैम्प्ड देयर अथॉरिटी टेकिंग ऑन ऑल चैलेंजेस including dealing with drivers which everybody knows is not an easy task we will be talking to reema jogani and tanvi naik of reema transport private limited incidentally reema transport is a 40 year old company started by two friends and reema and tanvi will take us through this journey the history the background and where this company stands today and of course the future plans Yes welcoming in our studio Reema Jogani and Tanvi Naik Thanks Girish thanks Girish Let me start with the person after who this company is named Reema So Reema tell us about Reema Transport the history the journey so far how has it been Hi I'm Reema Jogani from Reema Transport a little bit about us So our company was formed in 1983 between two families Ashok Kothari whose daughter am I Reema and Dilip Naik whose daughter is Tanvi and we also have a partner Vishwat Naik who's handling the whole of Goa our company started with doing only ambient business it's been more than a decade now we are into cold chain transportation we primarily work with pharmaceutical clients which is essential goods now which are always essential goods and uh, we have around 100 fleet we cater to west south and central india and we have around 100 trucks girish and uh, you know it's been around 10 years that joint business and it's been around 5 years that we's joint business now so that's about us that indeed is a commendable history so tanvi tell us was road transport or logistics your first choice or was it that chalo kuch nahi karne ko hai so let's do this how did you get into the road transport industry No frankly Girish uh, I would say it was not a part of a plan there's nothing is planned as such uh, I we I, I would say this for both of us we grew up uh, watching our parents work hard for our company you know setting it up and growing and uh, always I was always one of those kids who was like ki family business nahi karna hai we want to do something i wanted to make a mark of my own in the in the outside world and you know do something on my own because i used to think ki people who get into family business have it easy you know kuch nahi hua to family business but uh, you know when when i grew up you you get more matured you understand how uh difficult it is to set up a business to sustain it for years to have a partnership to go strong for so many years now almost uh, four decades now and uh you know i we could see how how much uh 
scope of improvement, scope of growth is there, uh, there is in the industry. I thought, you know, I think it's, it's time now to, you know, join, join the business. What was the turning point which got you to decide, okay, let's do this, let's join the family business? What was that moment? I'll tell you what, uh, I did my master's uh, in the UK and I studied uh, logistics and supply chain. I was already, always interested in supply chain. Not that I wanted to be in something else. But uh, when I worked outside, I worked with multinational companies and freight forwarders in the UK as well. And when I when I was working there, I saw uh, you know how transporters work and how other uh, CHAs work and all these kind of uh, different you know industries that are able to make the supply chain a whole. You know it's like a big universe that makes everything. You know keeps the wheel turning. And I was like, you know, when I have, we have our own setup, why don't I put some of my, whatever knowledge I have acquired, why don't I put it, put some into our own family business? And when I put forth these ideas to my father or even Ashok uncle, both of them were like, you know, very good, welcome, you know, ajao, kabhi bhi join ho jao, Rima is also there. And it's, it was a good thing that she was already there. So there was already a one woman who was already entered. Some things were already set for me, thanks to her being already enter, entering in the business i was like you know it's it's time it's time let's do this and i was enjoying operationals and uh, work because that's what i used to do i used to place other transporter car trucks in other freight forwarding companies and i was like you know i should be in the other side of the chair now prima you started your career in the media industry which is quite glamorous at least some part of it is quite glamorous how did you decide to come into the family business and the logistics business specifically tell you about me. Um, so my father was very clear after I did my post graduation that I should work outside and then decide whether I want to join family business. And uh, honestly, initially, like Tanvi mentioned, I was not sure whether I really want to, but I think it was a good thing because the exposure that you get out. So I have worked with companies like KPMG, ENY. I've worked with co media companies, like you mentioned. I've worked with Star Movies, National Geographic. There was a lot which I learned internally in terms of those are very professional forms. This is not a very organized sector. So of course, it was a big leap which I was going to take. So. Uh, my father said, whenever you're ready, if you don't want to join also, it's fine. If you want to join, you're most welcome. And you know, you always see your father, and I've always seen Dilipai, they've always been our heroes, right? Where we've seen them working. It's very interesting. Raat ko call a gaya, suddenly, are bhaagna hai, police se baat karna hai, ye karna hai, placement. So, of course, challenging tha, but it's very interesting to know. And if you, you can service other companies, why not your own company? And this is a sector where, like you mentioned, it was a male-oriented. A woman can get a change. There's nothing what a woman cannot achieve. I strongly believe that. They are multitaskers. So I thought it was a good opportunity to join family business and grow. And of course, like Tanvi mentioned, she was, good. she was anyway studying her you know, master's in logistics. So nothing better than two of us working together. Our fathers have worked so long and we've been into this partnership for like she mentioned four decades so we were very, like I was also very clear by then that yes I want to join so that's my that's my turning point of joining it is actually very commendable that in an age where even marriages don't last four decades this partnership has come so far we really wish more success for Rima transport but tell me Tanvi you have studied and worked in the UK how different are things in the UK and in India, what were the challenges, the differences, and how did you deal with them coming back to India? Oh, um, I would say there was there there were there was a lot of it was a huge change. Um, the way the work culture, uh, you know, the kind of systems and everything that is already existing, the kind of infrastructure that is already there in, you know, I would say developed countries. Uh, compared to that, when you when you work in India, it is so much different. But um, you know, like basic things, I, I always give this example of, you know, cl custom clearance, uh, whatever goes on in India, ke ports mein, ya airport pe. It takes a couple of days, at least, minimum, okay? It takes at least one week to get your shipment cleared and, you know, to whoever, Perfect. whatever your import ka shipment jo aata hai, ya export ka shipment ja hai. But in the UK, when we used to work, it used to get cleared in seven minutes, okay? Yeah. 
and I was so surprised. I was like, are you serious? Are you sure? Because I was very new to that company in UK also working, one only Indian in the company. So I used to question everything. And me being the kind of person I am, so curious, I'm always asking questions. Ki, seven minutes, are you sure it's going to happen in seven minutes? And they said, yes, of course, Tanvi, you don't have to give me one shipment a day. You have to give me at least like 20, 30, 40 th jobs a day so that you can, you know, do all those things. And I was like, wow, this is amazing. And I was thinking that when are we going to get there? And not just there, the kind of transparency that we had with transporters there, you know, the, I, I, will, I, I would like to stress on the fact that the drivers are given so much respect. They are at their own, you know, Raja hai wo raste ke. And they are always like, you know, you are not working with some sadaka driver types. It's always given so much respect, so much of, you know, dignity of labor, all of those things. And I saw that and I was like, you know, why can't this, these things be adopted in, you know, our country? Why is it not there yet? And I, when I moved back, I'll tell you, it was not easy for me because I used to say that, you know, Papa, why is this like this? Aisa nahi hona chahiye, you know, sub systematically hona chahiye. And he would tell me, you know, just wait. Just get a hang of everything. Because when you just join the business, you are not here to bring in change all the time. This company has been standing for years now and there is a reason for that. And you have to just first get a get a hold of everything. When in Rome, be a Roman. So when you're in India, you have to make things work in that way. So of course, there is there are things that I've taken from there. And there are things that I've taken from here. And I have to come to a middle point where we can make the most of, you know, the best of both worlds. So, so tell me, how many years have you been in business now? Uh, in India, six years now. Almost six years. And what kind of changes have you bought in, in these last six years? Well, uh, we, you know, Rima, when she joined, I think I would just add on to that part where, you know, she introduced a lot of technology wise. She was al already there. She had already started, you know, getting GPS Process. and getting all these processes in place. And uh, when I joined, I think uh, the most important things that we, we worked on was e getting our ERP set up and uh, getting compliances set up because you know uh, when when i was abroad i i learned that you need to have compliances in place first after that you can approach whichever client you want to you can't go meet them and then be like ki acha aapko ye chahiye kya mujhe do din ka time de do main banwa lunga ya karwa lunga karke but when you go to a client and you say that you know i am citypat uh, approved i am gdp approved i have you know all the compliances in place we have all the uh, sops in place they are already impressed you know aapka already pehle bol bhi sixer ho gaya hai so Obviously, you know, with time, then the kind of approach they have for you as a transporter will have will be different. It will be like you are a proper company. You are a genuine company who is right. more having a professional approach. And this is what I have heard with a lot of clients, actually, them saying that, you know, good, you know, I can see that you guys are professionals and I can see that you have that kind of transparency because really there's nothing to hide anymore. People know True. everything. True. So Rima, while Tanmi came into the business with a background and a qualification in logistics, you came from a completely different setup. How was your first day at work? Very different. <laughs> so if you want to know my journey when I joined, um, like Tanvi mentioned, so we, so of course it was, I was coming from a very professional setup, like to an unorganized sector and people don't look at you firstly, they say, Are, it was like, you know, boss ki beti aagai. So for them to accept changes, it's a no-no. First, you, you have to work with them. So first few days, I was only knowing people. I was working in every team. I was working with them closely. I was observing what are the points, whatever the changes we can make, small, small changes. I used to note. Then I used to sit with dad and the libai and I used to tell them, this is what we can do. The good part was they were very approachable and they were very open to changes. So, like she mentioned, we at that point of time did ISO. We got our company ISO certified. I got uh, you know GPS, and because we are into pharma, uh, you know transportation, you need there are a lot of things. It's just not truck dal diya, AC dal diya. There's like she said, there's a lot of compliances needed. There are a lot of rules you have to, and when you have that ready, and when you go to a client, they really take you seriously. And we believe in transparency. We don't. There's nothing hidden. 
this is what we are. And this is the approach which my dad and the Libai always got on the table. So initially it was for them to accept one a woman was difficult because they were not women. Of course, we had few women who weren't willing. Now you will see in our company, there are a lot of women also in this, you know, they, in different teams. We have women, we have some in operation, we have some in billing. That's after Tanvi and me joined. So we, women are also learning and wanting to join this industry. The myth used to be it's very male oriented. Changes which happened was, ojo oh, transport ka baat karne ka tarika tha na, that toned down when I joined. But I had to work with them. You had, to, I had to make them feel I'm like y'all. Just because I work from X place and I'm dad. Firstly, dad was, and they were very clear. Y'all are not our daughters when y'all are here. Y'all are here to work. You have to work with them. Aapko LR bhi banana hai, memo bhi banana hai. Aap lo wo sikhoge, tab ja ke aap, you know, aage bada paoge. Aapko drivers se bhi baat karna hai. And, you know, when you talk to drivers, I'm telling you the joy um, they have. And also, we become like, you know, look at the choti hai, beti hai. Then you play with them. Then you tell them that, Pia, please, ye kar loge. They listen to you. So, aisa, you know, the myth, pehle jo tha, ke driver ke saath aise baat karo. But luckily, wo cheez already set up kiya hua tha. And we have heads in every department. But for them to work with us was difficult. Second challenging thing for me was clients. Of course, they were amazed that a girl is joined. So they would talk to you. But they always had a question mark. Is she just a pretty face? Or she'd really come to work? <laughs> so initially, of course, I used to go with that and they by to clients and used to talk to them. And uh, they started seeing, you know, when we had answers, like we were very transparent. Then they started taking us seriously. So the third thing was old methods to new methods, adaption. Now the whole transport logistic industry has become very technology driven. So people to manually pehle na hisab ye wo adaption hota hi nahi tha. So we had to literally train them. Aap ye karoge your life will become. Jahan aap 6 ghanta lete the ek cheez karne mein aapka 2 ghante mein ho raha hai kyun nahi karna hai? You can learn better. You know, show them the growth prospects in the company. I think then they are more happy to work. But if you tell them, Pali, technology is going to be done, your work will So their mindset, the way they, our salary will be reduced, so we will be able to No, you give them the confidence, nothing like that. If the company grows, you will grow. So that is the confidence. So these were certain challenges which, of course, I also faced. <laughs> but what better example for Aisha's Naya Samen Nai Soch? with two young brilliant women joining the transport industry and getting more women to join this industry. At the same time, they have been successfully dealing with drivers, which has always been a challenge. On that note, let's take a short break and see what Aisha's message of Naya Samay Nai Soch is all about. नमस्ते मैं हेमप्रभा देवी हूं मैं आसाम से हूं 1996 से मैं ट्रांसपोर्टेशन बिजनेस में हूं मैं मेरा ड्राइवर और उनका फैमिली से मेरा काम के लिए उनका साथ हमेशा जुड़ा रहती हूं और एक बार मेरा एक ड्राइवर मिडुल और उसका बेटा का बड़ा बुखार हो गया था मिडुल की बीबी कीटांजलि समझदार थी उसने हर महीने कुछ सेविंग कर रखी थी एक-एक करके तीन अलग डॉक्टर से कंसल किया इलाज लंबा चला और महंगा भी वो अच्छे डॉक्टरों के पास प्राइवेट हॉस्पिटलों में बेटे का इलाज कर पाई हर मां-बाप चाहता है उनका बच्चा खुश रहे और हेल्दी रहे मेरा दूसरा ड्राइवर नीलकंठ उसका ब्रह्मपुत्र का बार में उनका घर पूरा खराब हो गया उनका बीवी डालिमी ने थोड़ा थोड़ा करके हर महीने थोड़ा पैसा सेव किया था 
वो बात नीलकंठा को पता ही नहीं था उन्होंने घर को फिर से बनाया दीवार को मजबूत किया फर्श को मजबूत किया और फिर से घर बहुत अच्छा बना ये दो फैमिली का पास मुसीबत का टाइम पैसा का कोई कमी नहीं हुआ क्योंकि इसमें मेरा भी थोड़ा सा हाथ है मैं मेरा ड्राइवर का सैलरी उनका वाइफ को देती हूँ क्योंकि वाइफ रेस्पॉन्सिबल होता है और सैलरी को सेविंग्स करता है ये मेरा नया इनोवेशन है और ये ही मेरा नया सोच है बिजनेस तभी बढ़ेगा जब सोच बदलेगी क्या आपने भी कोई नई सोच अपनाई है आयशर नई सोच डॉट कॉम पे हमें बताइए आयशर एच डी प्रो सीरीज नया समय नई सोच वेलकम बैक टू आयशर नया समय नई सोच प्रेजेंट ट्रांस इंडिया रियल पीपल रियल इमोशन कंटिन्यूंग विद यू रीमा What were the challenges that you faced at work? Lots of things, right? Like we did so we put SOP in places. So earlier, so there were many thore things were professional, but there were lot of scope of improvement. Like and small small things. Gary, shall tell you, computer is such a. So such. Now, this one should not be taken. It should not be taken. It should not be taken. Spend it. It should not be taken. It should not be taken. When you learn outside, how you speak to clients, how you deal with people. So you know, I have a mentor in media. and he used to tell he actually taught me sales so he used to tell me just don't look at going and talking to the heads for business talk to people over there then even if you have to talk to a security guard talk to him he is the one who will give you the maximum information so these are things which i bought on table so as of today girish i still do cold calls and you know people say are yaar you are at this stage and you of course it works it definitely works a uh, uh, receptionist can give you an email id of someone whom you want to get directly get in touch with of course you have social media where you get connects till the time they accept they don't accept if you have their email id you send them the introduction so i think these things which is what i got with me when i joined prima transport which really helped then we while refer segment is much more organized than the other segments in road transport it is very much challenging in fact more challenging than any of the other businesses especially because the trucks the goods everything has to be well under control what steps have you taken to streamline these operations and make sure nothing goes wrong um well i would say uh, refa being more organized than you know dry i would say that because uh, there are so many compliances in place uh, so the 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 clients uh, the truck drivers they already have to follow a certain process if they don't follow it you know kaam nahi hoga you can there is no scope for mistakes there is no scope ki gaadi chalo yahan pe ruk ke chai pi lete no because there is so much of tracking especially because it's temperature control it is live tracked throughout ओके क्लाइंट इज चेकिंग योर शिपमेंट कहाँ रुका कितने टाइम रुका ऑल दीज थिंग्स आर सेंसर ड्रिविन सो एवरीथिंग इज चेक एंड एवरीथिंग इज सो ट्रांसपेरेंट नाउ दैट देर इज नो स्कोप फॉर मिस्टेक्स सो ऑफकोर्स दैट इज अ रीजन वाई आई एन्जॉय बींग इन दिस सेगमेंट रादर दैन बींग इन एनी एनी थिंग एल्स फॉर दैट मैटर ऑल्सो आई लैड ऑन टू दिस गिरीश लाइक शी मैन शुड बी हैव एस ओ पीज इन प्लेस सो वेन वी हैव एस ओ पीज द ड्राइवर सपोज टू स्टॉप ओनली एट ऑथोराइज डीलर्स प्लेस there is a particular way how you even park a vehicle and we have a dedicated person who monitors you know the shipment completely the vehicle once it's loaded it's been sealed either by client seal or we have our own seal we also invest in the seal before a vehicle goes so there is a so there was another thing which i missed there was one thing which i implemented was there's a full vehicle checklist okay before the vehicle goes for loading they have to meet those parameters driver license insurance tax then gaadi ka ye theek hai wo theek hai everything then they take the driver signature then my maintenance head takes signs on it then weekly it comes to me i look at it so there's a lot which goes so it's very systematically driven as i said earlier while road transport is not an easy business the refer business is all the more challenging with so many stringent norms to be met and the one person that is responsible for the goods while on the highways is the truck driver one small mistake 
and the entire consignment can become useless. It is so important that these drivers are trained well. In our next episode, we shall continue our discussion with Rima and Tanvi and we will be talking about drivers, how they have been training drivers, how they have been motivating drivers. At the same time, how did they perform during the COVID situation, especially when they were into movement of medicines and vaccines. And of course, we will be talking about their future plans. So keep watching Trans India. There is no doubt that Rima and Tanvi are the apt brand ambassador of Aishar's Naya Samay Nai Soch. They are an inspiration to all the women out there who are reluctant to join the family business. There is an opportunity for every woman out there. They can join their father, they can join their husbands, they can join their brothers and make a mark for themselves. Bring changes, bring that emotional touch, bring the naive soch into their organization and in the road transport industry. Every September you have Drivers Day on 17th. What we do, we celebrate a one week activity where uh, some of our OEMs will come, some of our vendors will come, they'll facilitate them, we'll facilitate them, we'll talk to them, we'll ask them. I'm going to hope for a better second half of this year. So let's let's hope for you know something good, some good happening by the end of this year. Friends, we will be catching you again next Sunday. But before we go, here's wishing everyone a very happy Diwali. We hope that this festival brightens up the lives of everyone, everyone in the transport industry, in the automobile industry. But let us also not forget that while we may be celebrating Diwali with our families, our truck drivers will be out there making sure deliveries happen the next day, the same day or day after. Ji haan, hum ghar par Diwali mana rahe honge, lekin humare kai driver aise honge, jo us samay highway par अपने परिवार से हजारों किलोमीटर दूर होंगे हम आपसे रिक्वेस्ट करेंगे कि जब आप दिवाली की पूजा करें या जब दिवाली का दिया जलाएं तो एक दिया इन ट्रक ड्राइवरों के लिए भी जरूर जलाएं वन सेकेंड विशिंग एवरी वन स्पेशली आर ड्राइवर्स अ वेरी हैप्पी दिवाली एंड विल कैच यू अगेन नेक्स्ट संडे विथ रीमा एंड तनवी अंटिल देन स्टे सेफ एंड येस बिफोर यू गो Please subscribe to our channel and spread the word around.